Yosemite National Park is a natural wonder located in the Sierra Nevada mountains of California. Known for its stunning granite cliffs, cascading waterfalls, and diverse wildlife, Yosemite offers visitors a chance to explore and appreciate the beauty of nature. It is famous for its iconic landmarks, such as El Capitan and Half Dome, which attract rock climbers from all over the world. Hi everyone, I'm Amber with Greater Travel, and Yosemite National Park is where it's at for a variety of outdoor activities such as hiking, camping, and skiing with over 750,000 acres of wilderness to explore. Yosemite is a must-see destination for anyone who loves the great outdoors, so stick around to get all the info and be sure to stay until the end to find out about a special gift. Yosemite National Park offers a wide variety of activities for visitors to enjoy. Some popular options include hiking the park's many trails, which range from easy nature walks to challenging backcountry treks. Visitors can also take scenic drives through the park, go horseback riding, or take leisurely bike rides. In the winter, visitors can enjoy skiing, snowshoeing, and cross-country skiing. Outside of the park, there are also many activities to enjoy in the surrounding areas. Visitors can go rafting or kayaking on the Merced River or take a scenic drive on Tioga Road which offers stunning views of the park. Fishing and bird watching are also popular activities in the area. The nearby towns of Mariposa and Oakhurst offer a variety of shops, restaurants, and accommodations for visitors. Additionally, there are many other national parks and forest service lands in the Sierra Nevada mountains that are also worth visiting while in the area. But we're here to talk about Yosemite National Park, and there's plenty to do just in the park itself. Winter visitors can enjoy lots of snowy fun. One popular activity is cross-country skiing and snowshoeing, which can be enjoyed on several designated trails throughout the park. Visitors can also go downhill skiing and snowboarding at Badger Pass Ski Area, which is located within the park and offers rental equipment and ski lessons. Another popular winter activity is ice skating on the Curry Village Ice Rink, which is open to visitors of all ages and skill levels. The park also offers several ranger-led snowshoe walks, which are a great way to learn about the park's winter ecology and history while getting some exercise. Additionally, visitors can go on a guided snowmobile tour, which provides a unique way to experience the park's winter wilderness. Visitors can also take a scenic drive on the park's roads, which offer beautiful views of snow-covered landscapes. It's worth noting that during the winter, many roads and facilities in the park are closed or have limited access, and many activities are weather dependent, so it's important to check the park's website or with a ranger before planning a winter trip to Yosemite. Warm weather visitors are not disappointed in the plethora of things to do. One of the most popular activities is hiking. Visitors can choose from easy nature walks to challenging treks such as the famous Mist Trail to Vernal and Nevada Falls or the Half Dome Hike. Other popular summer activities include camping, picnicking, and fishing. Visitors can camp in one of the 13 campgrounds in the park or several of the nearby towns. Visitors can take a scenic drive on Tioga Road, which offers stunning views of the park. They can also enjoy horseback riding with guided tours. There are also several ranger-led educational programs and guided walks offered in the summer, which provide a great way to learn about the park's ecology, geology, and history. There are also several shuttle bus services offered during the summer to help visitors get around and avoid traffic congestion. Yosemite National Park is renowned for its unique and spectacular geology. The park is located in the Sierra Nevada Mountains of California, which were formed by uplifting and erosion caused by tectonic activity. The park's granite cliffs are the result of magma that cooled and hardened beneath the Earth's surface millions of years ago and were later exposed by erosion. Another notable feature of the park's geology is the Yosemite Valley, which was carved by glaciers during the last ice age. The valley features towering granite cliffs, cascading waterfalls, and lush meadows. The park's famous waterfalls, such as Yosemite, Bridal Vale, and Vernal Falls, are also the result of glacial erosion. Visitors can also find granite domes, such as the famous Half Dome, and granite rock formations such as the Royal Arches that are the result of erosion and weathering. 
The park is also home to several unique geological formations, such as the giant sequoias, which are some of the oldest living organisms on Earth and can only be found in a small area of the Western Sierra Nevada. Yosemite National Park offers a variety of food options for visitors. Within the park, there are several restaurants, snack bars, and food courts that offer a range of options, including sandwiches, burgers, pizza, and salads. There are also several stores and markets to sell groceries, snacks, and camping supplies. Visitors can also find several food trucks around the park. In the surrounding areas, there are also several towns that offer a range of dining options. Mariposa and Oakhurst, for example, both offer a variety of restaurants that serve American, Mexican, and Italian cuisine, as well as local specialties such as Sierra Nevada beer. There are also several farmer's markets in the area where visitors can find fresh fruits, vegetables, and homemade goods. For those who prefer to cook their own meals, the park offers several campgrounds that have communal fire rings, picnic tables, and food storage lockers where visitors can prepare their own meals. Additionally, there are several backcountry campsites that can only be reached by foot, where visitors can bring their own backpacking stoves to cook. Okay, so what about the kids? The park has several family-friendly hiking trails, such as the Lower Yosemite Fall Trail, which is an easy hike to the base of the Lower Yosemite Fall, and the Cook's Meadow Loop, which offers beautiful views of Yosemite Valley. Kids can also enjoy ranger-led educational programs and guided walks, which provide a great way to learn more about the park's ecology, geology, and history. The park also offers several junior ranger programs, which are designed to introduce children to the park's resources and encourage them to become stewards of the natural world. Children can pick up a junior ranger booklet at any visitor center and complete activities to earn a badge. The park also has a swimming area in the Merced River, which is a great way for kids to cool off on hot summer days. During the winter, the park offers a ski and snowboard program for kids at the Badger Pass Ski Area, which includes rental equipment and ski lessons. The park also offers a guided snowmobile tour that kids can enjoy. One of my favorite things about travel is learning about the history, and there's plenty to learn for adults too. Yosemite National Park has a rich cultural history that spans thousands of years. The area has been home to the... Awanichi people who were part of the larger Miwok nation. The Awanichi people were known for their deep connection to the land and their skilled use of natural resources. They developed intricate systems for hunting, gathering, and trading, and their culture was closely tied to the cycles of the seasons. In the mid-1800s, the first non-indigenous people began to explore and settle in the area, which eventually led to the creation of the park in 1864. The park has been home to several different communities over the years, including miners, loggers, and homesteaders, each of whom left their mark on the land. Today, the park continues to be an important cultural and spiritual site for the descendants of the Awanichi people, as well as for other indigenous communities. The park offers several ranger-led educational programs and guided walks that highlight the park's cultural history and provide visitors with an opportunity to learn about the park's rich cultural heritage. Now we've touched on a lot of things at this point, but here's the thing, you cannot forget about shopping when you're going on vacation anywhere, and Yosemite is no exception. You need a t-shirt and souvenirs, all the magnets and shot glasses, etc. right? Within the park, there are several gift shops and markets that sell a wide range of items, including souvenirs, clothing, books, and outdoor gear. These shops can be found in various visitor centers and lodges throughout the park, and they offer a great selection of Yosemite-themed items and park-specific merchandise. In the surrounding areas, there are several towns that offer additional shopping options. Mariposa, Oakhurst, and Groveland are some of the closest towns to the park, and they offer a variety of shops, including antiques, clothing, jewelry, and art galleries. The towns also have supermarkets where visitors can purchase groceries, snacks, and other supplies. For those looking for outdoor gear, there are several outdoor gear stores in the surrounding towns. These stores sell equipment and clothing for hiking, camping, and other outdoor activities, and often have knowledgeable staff who can provide advice and recommendations for visitors. So, You've got all the info. You know it's the vacation you want to take. Now's the time to decide when you want to go, whether it's winter with all the snow or maybe you need a bit warmer temperatures. You need to know where you're going to stay, eat, and sightsee, and you may want to decide on that budget first. If you liked this video and you want to see more similar content, 
subscribe to Greater Travel, and click the bell to be notified when future videos are uploaded. Be sure to leave a comment about your experience at Yosemite if you've been before or something you look forward to on your future visit, and we will do our best to respond to your comment. Thanks for watching. See you next time.